Okay. So time is on. Today we will uh, finish up the chapter nine, and myself and Yubin will cover the later part of chapter nine. Okay, and then we have a mo one more week to tomorrow, next week. But you see that this uh, second one is on Tuesday morning, okay? not Wednesday afternoon. The sixth, so Monday afternoon and Tuesday morning. So we finish up the class. Because Tenth of the All right, so don't confuse with the timeline. So this is uh, chapter nine, second part, and the uh, process how to make the standard. And chapter nine is here, and uh, subsections under chapter nine. I'm trying to cover 9.2, the information technology, but I found that Wang Lin already covered my portion last time. So I tried to use another material to have a similar updated one because the textbook is already the outdated one. So same contents, but a little bit updated coverage. So this is AP development, how can we develop AP using softwares and IT technology? Okay. Productivity and quality is important to develop a new standard. And providing international access to standard, the website, and then administrative functions. There is original coverage, but I'm moving out from that one. So APDE was an old name, which one is developed by NIST to help AP developers. And the document itself is a documentation, a word file, right? So only output is, standard output is not software. This is a documentation. So after finishing up, the standard, it is not easy to understand the contents. So you should attend the, the process of developing the standard because while we're developing standard, we need to have a testing, we need to have a software. So the uh, background material is open to expert when, while the standard is developed. But after finishing up the standard, only final product is just the documentation. It's not easy to understand the contents of the standard. And SGML was a language for uh, standards, but it is not well used nowadays. You already see that XML instead is used for further development. So that this one is already covered by Wang Lin. APD, and there is a three main areas of functionality, documentation, a repository, and express schemas. Those are important portions which is needed for AP developers. So software tools are developed by NIST at the, at the beginning, but afterward more and more com commercial software are coming so that needs to stop to support in developing such a software nowadays. So you should use other softwares. So I'm trying to cover the public uh, site, something like a STEM mod module repository, or wiki step and STEM module uh, resource library, and this one is also started by NIST, so that old version of STEM mode is can, you can find from NIST site. 
So step mode, step module uh, repository. You have I found this information from Wikistep. Wikistep is a website for public wiki uh, for step information. So step module repository, in short, we call step mode, is a collection of resources uh, presented in or tagged in XML language to serve as the core of the modular environment for developers of step. So you already expect that this is for modular architecture or AP development. Right? Module, so resources saying common resources. So uh, Sunjo is also preparing the module version of uh, part 57, persistent identification we are developing. Just after finishing of our CD ballot, the DIS document should be prepared in uh, uh, as a module, modular architecture. So you, he is working on XML version of, so all the CD ballot document was written in Microsoft Word, but Sunja is preparing an XML uh, version of that uh, document, and that will be uh, uploaded in SMRL in the later stage. So you need uh, software, something like this. How to access and use step mode may be accessed at step mode uh, SourceForge. SourceForge is a very big site for uh, open source libraries. And among them, there is a step mode part. Now this is a step mode uh, SourceForge.net uh, uh, site, the front page of this. So step module repository project Project is a collection of resources, already see this, yes. And then there is a uh, sub-menus like a summary, download, and repository, access instruction, archives for mailing, mail archives, and subscribe for the mailing list, and version control of developers for recommended CBS, and notes of per some person expert, and also finally the express model specifications are there. One more step down. There is uh, another uh, uh, indexing uh, introduction and getting started with SourceForge and CVS, and hint and tips, release notes, and repository structure. So repository structure is in directory. DTD is for uh, uh, type definition. What is, what is data type definition? Something is it? Uh, something like a schema for XML. Or is it coming from HTML. And module files and module itself, the module introduction and editing documentation, keyword, and purpose, scope, out scope, and no material references. There's structure of some menus, or so forth. And this one is the page down into more um, menus. Source for the project, email explorer, and developing how you will become a developer and CVS and release note so that you can see, find more and more on SourceForge project, XML Explorer, and Email Explorer, and, and develop, become a developer. Next slide shows a wiki step. Wiki step is a, a, a website when you can have a, a public information. So another site you can uh, check is ISO uh, official website for step word, but you may need some, some portion is public to uh, any person, but may, many portion of the site is close to uh, official memberships, national members. So Wikistep is a place when public and free contents about step standard is 
given. So contents of that is and common guidelines, recommended practices, issues, and step mode again. And uh, once again, AP 203, 209, 210, 214, 236, and 242. So as you see this one, this one is more supported by United States because the APs are coming from, they, most of them are coming from United States. So that the portion of AP they developed is covered and supported here. And this is a further page on common guideline recommendation. So then you can find a tutorial there, PDM usage guide, and also product manufacturing information, PMI is also covered. So GDNT is genetic uh, dimensioning and tolerance. This is important for uh, manufacturing and machining. And then on the uh, associative uh, text, and model viewing, and coloring, layering, and then it comes with issues of integration and AP 203, 209, something like that. And this is for a STEM module repository. So it comes from sourceforge.net. Uh, it is uh, very, uh, front is very simple. So that a collection of resources. Resources means XML files there. So schemas, XML files, to serve as the core of modular environment for developers, module developers of STEP and the family of product data exchange standard and PLCS. PLCS is for product lifecycle uh, support, the family of standard related to supporting the complete product lifecycle. And then we go on to the module repository website. So one of them is uh, Express Engine, so that you can use Express Checking there. This is for validation of step data population for Express and schema and transformation of step data population from one schema to another schema through uh, ExpressX. So that kind of thing is covered by this Express Engine. So uh, Sunjo is starting to use this kind of, and that is project members who is administrating this site. And this one, this one is a step uh, module repository again, but this is maintained by NIST. Well, you can say that this one is a little bit outdated because at the beginning, NIST started uh, uh, maintaining the step module repository, but now they moving out into the public domains too. All right. And here is uh, some commercial tools, companies. Right? Step tools of United States, and EDM of Norway, and Eurostep of Sweden, and Lenkesoft of Germany, Prostep of Germany. Those are uh, small companies, but they are specialized in step softwares, uh, which I know about. So you can visit or you can find from Google these names. So there are, similarly, I found these ones. You can find more updated one and more detailed one yourself. So step tools of the United States, they are located in New York State, and they are specialized in NC machining, right? AP238 for step NC AP. So that is the coverage of first time CNC, CML, and other things. And ST developer is their software names, softwares for express language and service pack is available recently so that you have a tolerance AP242, meshing, checking, STL, and 214, 203, so C++, Java API, and then the others also, again, step and C is very big project in, in that company again. And you can go on to the uh, ST developers uh, page of Step Tools company. And this is version 16, 
And then they have been to supporting this software for more than 20 years. Okay. So that you can expect there is a, a stable software now. And next slide shows uh, EDM software coming from Norway. But the company name or group name is Jotne, uh, Jotne, I, I, cannot, I don't know how to this uh, pronounce, Jotne IT group of Norway. And among them, the product of this company is Express EDM. And then there are several uh, Express manager and simulation data manager and PLM, the true PLM. So if there are some small explanation on, about the express data management, EDM of course functional system. You can find more. And one more page on this, same site. So express data manager, a server solution and other product including model server, PLM and Simulation data management, APUs, and BIM, BIM, up, all of this BIM is building information management. Okay. BIM. The next slide shows uh, Eurostep, this is from Sweden, and they uh, uh, have software for something like a share space. This is based on AP209 for PLM. P209, no, 239, 239, PLCS. And they developed this standard AP, the, the expert core members, and they, after developing this one, they started a, a company, and they are providing this software to one, one of the customer is PartDB, and PartDB adapt this share space and develop a PLM system for nuclear power company in Korea. So that is the how. So this, you can say this is a, something like a baseline fundamental toolkit for developing PLM. So that kind of thing. So it's based on step standard. Because the, when they, while they are developing this standard, they have software development together because you, they need to have a testing. Similarly, Sunjo is also implementing small software to test the, the part 57 of process identification. Similarly, they do, and then after finishing up, they further develop this software into a commercial tools like this. Similarly to other systems too. Right? So the step tools uh, started their software the Martin Hardwick is a CEO of this company. He, was, he still is a professor in RPI, Rensselaer Polytech Institute, Computer Science. And those members of the company is also the graduate of that university. So that is a very specialized group of experts. They are developing step tools, step related tools. And a case of this coming from Germany, and he specialized that the uh, software is on, on uh, the uh, how can I say, the AP210 and 211 for electronic circuit board, electronic circuit board. So that you see that there is a circuit circuit cam, right? I don't know, PCB, PCB, PCA. So that is a special uh, area, the uh, LK soft is, so AP210 is their area of work. So the CEO also from Germany, he is uh, editor of this AP document, the standard document developer. And after that, he started the company to support their technology. And this one is coming from Prostep. Prostep is a German uh, company on STEP, right? And you can see that there are uh, 
see that there is a service portal for data conversion and data transfer. Right? Reliability, security, and, and automation. And data exchange, data conversion, data integration is important. Right? And you can find 3D PDF, first step 3D PDF solution. There are softwares, but usually they are doing uh, services rather than software selling. And one of them, you already see this one, the CAX Implementers Forum is ma managed by CrossTap. Right? So CAX Implementers Forum, since 1999, so it already then 17 years, many times they are doing, and also the uh, product is, or companies involved in that Implementers Forum is Adobe, Autodesk, Bentley, Dassault System, Data Kit, ITI, Cubotech, and PTC, Gmans, and T System, and Serum Solutions. All right, that's it from me today. No question, then we go on to move it. My name is Yugen Kim, and I'm going to introduce uh, chapter 9.2 to 9.4. This is uh, contents. Uh, first one, uh, terms of presentation, and second, supporting administrative functions, and third, uh, exploitation, lessons learned, and fourth, remaining issues for IT exploitation, and fifth, uh, providing technical support for tools and six collaborative partners then conclusion first uh, terms of presentation uh, you can see uh, this is uh, APDE as one uh, in uh, teachers and second the sol solis uh, SC4 on online information service and uh, standard generalized makeup language HTML and uh, document type definition DTD as professor said and next uh, supporting administrative functions uh, <coughs> need of administ administrative functions uh, first there are more than uh, 100 active projects for ISO uh, 10303 and uh, 10 to 15 percent of the leadership changes every year. And uh, there are domain uh, demands for quickly access to the relative information, so we need uh, uh, administrative functions. So, how to solve this problem? Uh, to solve this problem, NIST developed the uh, SC4 project management database to support several of the secretariat functions. Here is the results. Uh, first, uh, relationships across parts can be easily established. Second, uh, schedules assessed to identify critical path requirement. And uh, they can experience uh, time saving in production overhead for many routine tasks. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, exploitation lessons learned. How, how to exploit lesson, uh, lessons? First, uh, providing training to standard developers. Uh, simply <coughs> developing or applying a new technology does not guarantee its acceptance into the user community. So uh, we should uh, provide training to standard developer. And second, 
<clears throat> there can be a tendency to deliver tools before they are tested adequately. So make sure tools work before distributing them to the gen <clears throat> general public. And third, a high resource demand for support and maintenance of APD continues to exist over time. So uh, help AP developer to be more pro productive. And <clears throat> first, uh, this needed to be prepared to develop, support, and maintain large portions of the APD in-house. And fifth, uh, the tools must support the least common uh, dominator of both the skill set and the technology available to users. And sixth, uh, provide solutions with a broad utility versus domain-specific application wherever possible in uh, <coughs> commercialization of APDE. 9.2.5 uh, remaining issues for IT exploitation. Uh, first, uh, copyright protection versus broad uh, ex exposure. The challenge is to balance uh, public accessibility with ISO's right to protect. Uh, if we, uh, to, if we uh, expose too many informations of the system, uh, the people can uh, access to its basic parts, so it's, uh, it's very uh, dangerous. So the balance of the uh, the balance of the exposure and accessibility <coughs> is important. Second, uh, directives and methods uh, keep changing. The tool developers have to shoot at several moving targets through requirements are unstable. And third, the migration to SGML. The use of SGML promises great rewards for both its platform neutrality and its computer interpretable format. First, a uh, lowest common uh, denominator of capability inhibits information transfer. It means uh, tools need to support the least common denominator of the technologies available to users. Uh, these limitations can constrain the performance and uh, capabilities of the tools provided. Fifth, uh, handling and maintaining data in multiple formats. In this case, uh, first, uh, the secretariat must support all formats in multiple versions. Second, if users' uh, software platforms change it, so most uh, scripts. Third, uh, multiple conversion strategies have to be employed to uh, support all of the different formats. Six, uh, limited interest among uh, commercial vendors to build tools supporting development of ISO 10303 or SGML applications. Uh, chapter 9.3 <clears throat> Leveraging Human Resources mm, Providing technical support for tools First, uh, SE4 meetings SE4 meetings uh, provide demonstrations and training on new applications and Second, APD members hosted training workshops at NIST on SGML and DTD use. 9.3.2 Collaborative Partners First, uh, some members of the commercial community recently realized the potential long-term benefit of joining in the STEP development. Second, the STEP community efforts to attract and maintain collaborative relationships. Third, the staff centers uh, serve 
various functions. Uh, for example, standard development and training and education and marketing outreach to the ultimate custom consumers of the ISO 10303 <coughs> implementations. Mm, the following the following reasons with ISO TC uh, exist uh, currently. Here is the uh, here is the name of the uh, following reasons. European Association of Aerospace Industries ACMA and European European Marine Step Association and a European Process Industries Step Technical Reason uh, Executive Industry Alliance for Interoperability and uh, Object Management Group and Product Data Exchange using Step Incorporation and uh, <coughs> Petrotechnical Open Software Corporation and ProStep Association. First, uh, first one is APIS 2, the European Process Industry Step Technical uh, Reason Executive. Uh, <coughs> Epistel is a collaboration between three industry consortia uh, PISTEP, uh, POSD, Kaiser, and uh, USPI NL. Second, uh, procedure. Uh, A E do que é? Post-procedure. Ah, né? Kaisar, Kaisar, Kaisar. Não Members of this uh, consortia work together to develop uh, specifications and standards designed to improve the efficiency and uh, effectiveness of information management in the process industries. PDES, uh, P Product uh, Data Exchange Using STEP. PDES is an international industry government consortium committed to accelerating the development and implementation of standards that enable uh, enterprise integration and PRM interoperability for its member companies. And OMG, Object Management Group. OMG is an international open membership, not for profit computer industry consortium. OMG task forces uh, develop uh, enterprise in integration standards for a wide range of technologies and an even wider uh, range of industries. Uh, <coughs> next, a POSC, uh, Petrotechnical Open Software Corporation. Uh, it is an international not for profit membership corporation. It is uh, uniquely designed to unite industry people, issues, and ideas to facilitate. Uh, EMP, information sharing, and business process integration. POSC provides open certifications for information modeling, uh, information management, and data and application integration over the life cycle of EMP assets. ProStep. Uh, First ProStep is an um, independent company spe specializing in business uh, management services and uh, engineering solutions. Second, uh, they provide leading uh, manufacturing companies worldwide with the uh, support um, they require for designing, uh, implement, implementing, and optimizing their internal and cross 
enterprise processes. And this is a conclusion. Hmm. SC4 has been um, a unique contribution to the ISO community. Like a standards develop development, uh, creative, uh, administrative uh, processes. And uh, this has tried to keep pace with SC4's needs. Mm -hmm. and, and then uh, their methods, uh, processes, and tools could be adapted for use by other standards development um, organizations. And this is the reference. Thank you. Okay. Which discussion, discussion session and I'm debater of today. The first subject is which one is better and who made software based on standard. Team one is people who made standard and team two is people who utilize standard. Another, in other words, user. And select your team freely. No, no one select team. Uh, I think user uh, should give feedback to the software and the people who made standard should make the software work. You mean team one? Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. One of the team one is Yubin and TA is team 1, Yubin and TA is team 1, and Wangnin and Mohamed is team 2. Give your opinion. Um, you, can't <coughs> you can't choose the users who can uh, make software because there are many users and there are no standards. I don't know what you mean. developers better or user better? They, they will they will this your question? Yeah. For the software developer? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, it is uh, 
software developer for standard expert and standard user. User of the standard. User of the software. Not heavy, but mm -hmm. almost people who are developing standard uh, was uh, users. So if if those two people have same capability for developing a software, mm -hmm. then maybe people making standard have can have advantages in terms of the compatibility with the standard because they will reflect standards to the software somehow. And although user just user can reflect the demand of other all the users around around them, but if that's far away from the standard, then at some point they should reflect standard to the software and there will be another work. So I, I just want you to know that standard developers were once users yeah. and <laughs> still they are uh, at the same time, they uh, users are making standards too. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, Katia Dasu system or UG Gmans. Mm -hmm. They are. I don't know. I, I I can say they are users, but if I can say they are users, they are also developing standards. Software can like, show up. Uh, new software can be made and you need to do an implementation. And you have many software in the market and you need at least two end implementations to satisfy that, or to, to suit all the software. So maybe you don't have enough expert time for this. And maybe using their expertise elsewhere is more useful. So I think just like the users who can benefit from the implementation, you can understand the standard, like the implement or do the software is more useful. Is more uh, and they can have more motivation also because they might be interested in connecting to software because of some problem they have, so they just do the implementation for it. That's my point. Very good. <laughs> Also, like for experts, uh, I think we can't say <coughs> who is good, who is bad, and because experts, uh, just like the T and as you mentioned, they, they were once like users also. So uh, maybe because they uh, you have like uh, a lot of like uh, they have a lot of experience from the past time. For using this kind of, like for designing or even for uh, using this kind of, a lot, a lot of standards. So finally, uh, they know uh, which kind of uh, which kind of standards. Uh,
fiction are getting more like uh, popular among users, and also for users. And mm. sometimes, like for customers, and they have to, uh, uh, they have to use some kind of uh, standards. So uh, that means uh, the experts experts should follow. Uh, the demands from the users, and if you, if you don't if you don't care uh, the demands of, uh, of the users, sometimes uh, you just need a, a lot of standards, <coughs> but it cannot cannot meet uh, the requirements of the users. So I think uh, this, sh this should be based on the fact, based like uh, based on the demand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is I inspired by <coughs> Mohammed. <laughs> the software based on several other standards, such as Transcare should be stored or offered freely using an advertisement. Team one. Team one. Team one. Mm -hmm. Team two. Team two. Team two. You can choose Team one or Team two. <laughs> okay, team one is Yuvin and TA, and team two is Wang Yuvin. Mohamed, right? again, give your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes uh, the advertisement uh, in the software advertisement there may be some uh, the virus or the attack from <laughs> someone. <laughs> I, I already attacked from the advertisement <laughs> once, once <laughs> my computer is uh, hit down. So I think <laughs> so, so by money is uh, a very uh, safe. <laughs> Based on your experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they, this is about business model that they earn the money. Yeah. How they can, how they earn the money. Okay. So it's, it's kind of chicken, chicken comes first or egg, egg first. <laughs> egg first. But the the efforts that the Software developers put in to develop software is 
very high. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It, it actually depends on the situation and the type of software, type of the software. But suppose you are going to develop a step translator. Since it's based on a step, so should it be freely offered to the user? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. because and if you see the market, uh, all the libraries or software that provides step translators or standard translator, they are not free. Mm -hmm. So that's my answer. Keep to give your opinion. <laughs> Sometimes it can be like, like a, um, harmful sometimes because there are so many advertisements. But like for your software, if there's no kind of like promotion, so no one will not will know it. And uh, even for its utilization, and uh, in this process, like uh, advertisements can help you to uh, like. Uh, Show your like even your software, uh, like for transcribe, even for free care, and copy out some software. So, uh, sure, but then you have to like for and if I'm a developer, so I have to uh, like advertise some like a uh, good aspect uh, aspect of about my software, and I'm trying to uh, introduce like uh, the again. <coughs> advantages of using software and uh, for its like a uh, developing environment and its uh, design like like uh, design like for our uh, step software so uh, even for its like a uh, uh, pre processing and post processing process and um, maybe because for uh, I think in the in the like uh, beginning of this uh, software development so we can offer some free burns and because it can uh, promote and promote our development and even for our design and sometimes uh, maybe some users actually use this software and they find out that it's quite, like, it's, it's quite good and it's quite like a Applications and then uh, more applications than other softwares. So maybe it's interest to use this software and then uh, they want like a develop and more properties and even more functions in this software. So they will they can even pro provide some input and, like, uh, some suggestions and things for your like improvement of the software. So uh, yeah, I think. Like Advertisement is uh, indispensable, but it must be based on some like a uh, factual, even practical, uh, like a uh, aspect. And if uh, like uh, we can use of uh, advertisement, but it should be based on uh, a very safe environment. Yeah, we can ensure that our software for this kind of promotion is quite uh, uh, real and quite uh, like a fact, fact, uh, fact based. So, mm. I have one question. Yes. Using advertisement means that uh, I I advertise my product or my software advertise other products so that I can get money from the advertisement or I just promote my advertise my yeah. product. Of course other product. Other product. <laughs> yeah. So in that case, so advertising other product means that you want 
you won't uh, get some money from the advertisement, right? Yeah. So why don't you just sell it if, if your purpose is earn, earn the money? Why, why, why don't you just sell it? Your purpose is just money. So yeah. if you use advertisements instead of selling, this kind of increases your market size. More people can just come in and try the program and not actually pay for it or buy it in the beginning. So we can, do, we can allow for a lot more testing and experimentation. More users can just try different software. If, if we find it good, we just use it for a longer time, which means more money can be made. So it gives you more flexibility. And uh, at the same time, so like if, it's, if you play with the numbers right, or if the advertisements, if the software is popular, then it should be attracting more advertisements, and you can make up some money out of it. So, uh, but on the other hand, if you're not like limiting innovation, you're putting your software out there for free, people can use it, people can try it. So I think it's it's a better, like it's it's more friendly to the customer in a way. And uh, yeah, you know, about the safety issue, I'm, I'm sure like lots of uh, programs are being made to check if this advertisement has a virus or not. Like, for example, YouTube advertisements probably are safe because they're like uh, checked by Google. You know, so maybe Google has some pretty good software that can check. And Google actually is, is highly dependent on advertisements. So uh, there's something called Google Ads, I think, which you just can register to, and they can send you the ads relevant to your your own field, like your own topic, what kind of viewers you can have, and they can send you relevant ads. And they get a portion of the money, we get a portion of the money, and everyone is happy. So, uh, I mean, safety can be, can be managed, um, I guess. But, so, uh, no, it's not good. It's actually irrelevant to the, this, whether the software is based on standard or not. Hmm? It's, it's actually irrelevant. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whether the software mm. is based on so step mm. or not, mm. it's hard to earn mm. money. Mm. Is it related with the uh, uh, size of the audience? Mm. Mm. If your scope is limited to the step based software, you cannot expect a big community. I'm very to say Google or mm -hmm. I don't know what the process and what we do. The specialized standard so size of community is important for the decision in this case. Because of the advertisement you, you should expect a big size of community or, or Digital. There's also specialized product advertisements, like uh, special machines or special cat software. Maybe Google will not send a cat, cat software advertisement on some cooking website, but it will send it to a cat website. It's, uh, like even if the market is small, they have some very specialized products which they don't need. So I think even then advertising maybe I don't know, like hundred percent maybe the advertising will also be the value we have. But uh, yeah. <coughs> for for your information, all the step translators are not free. Hmm? All the step translators mm -hmm. in the market is mm -hmm. not free. Mm -hmm. No well, in 10 years ago, there was free <laughs> coming <laughs> from this. At the moment, it's now it's changed. It's mm -hmm. not free. Because mm -hmm. developing step translator is very difficult. Mm -hmm. Same goes to the subject one, two, again. Um, developing step software is not easy. Yeah. But then users may not. <laughs> cannot develop such a software. 
Mm -hmm. You can think about the car, automobile. Ordinary users cannot make a car. Even though they have nice idea how to make, how, what can be the shape or the function of the car. We cannot this probably better coming from users. But internal is very complicated, you cannot make. I just assume stem, uh, standard user is our developer and have knowledge of coding. So I <coughs> I subject one is that we can move. <laughs> well, you should then write down the assumption. Mm. But I am thinking of say I mentioned in the uh, class that small part suppliers, a company, yeah. say, such as a pump or motor, a small company such as this, less than 100 people is working. In, in such a company, they need to translate tech models between, for, say, and they requires using CATIA and then GM requires to use GMS. But the same motor should be sold to both companies. Right? Yeah. They need to convert data between two systems. So that is a user of the translator. So in the company, I, I guess they cannot, the ordinary engineer cannot make a software development. Mm. Okay. Finish? Okay.